Okay, so you just installed Linux Lite and you decided you want to have a nice graphical software center with which to install programs. Well, I have a solution for you. We're going to install a Deepin Software Center and we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. The link that you're seeing here on my desktop is to Noobs Lab, and uh, this is a great website if you're new to Linux and you want to um, do some fun things with your desktop. Uh, there are uh, downloads available. There's a Conky collection, so if you're doing any system monitoring on your desktop, this is where you can get themes for it. Uh, there's a nice themes collection on here, wallpapers, hot topics, and some tutorials. So you definitely want to browse this site and get lost for a few hours just looking at all the content that's in here. Now, uh, in here is an article on installing the Deepin Software Center on Ubuntu. And since Linux Lite is based on Ubuntu, you can use this. All right, so let's go ahead and open up a terminal and issue these commands that are in here. Okay, and let's uh, move things around a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this first line. That is sudo adapt repository ppa noobs lab deepen sc. Okay, right click and paste. Press enter. Put in your password. Press enter, and then it's going to install the key rings and all the other stuff it needs. Okay, and then we're going to issue sudo apt get update. And then finally, sudo apt get install deepen software center. Okay, I already installed it. All right, something I would like to recommend. Once you have installed this, reboot your computer. I tried uh, using it right after installing. It didn't want to behave properly. And I've even tried logging out and logging back in. So I just went ahead and rebooted my computer. And then everything was fine. Okay, and under your system menu, now you'll have the software center with a blue icon. Let's have a look at some of the options you get with this. There's a little drop-down arrow here. You can refresh the application list. This will open the download directory. Clear cached packages. The first time you launch this, you will see a little three-slide slideshow that you have to view before looking at this. So if you want to see it again, view new features is right here. And then we have preferences. And then under Preferences, when you want to install software, maybe you want it to delete configuration files. So you can check that. You can also select the ma maximum number of download tasks and where those packages will download to. This feature will allow you to choose the fastest mirrors. By selecting this button, it'll go through this list and it'll pick the fastest ones for you. The amount of time that it takes is dependent upon your internet connection. And then, of course, a little bit about it. We'll close this. Next, if you click the t-shirt icon, you can change its theme. You can make it look uh, like any of the predefined themes, or pressing the plus button here will allow you to pick a picture from your gallery and, um, you know, theme it accordingly. I chose this image because it seems to match my desktop quite nicely. So that's good enough. So you have a number of applications here, topics, and you can also list uh, the top 25 by download rank. Uh, the 25 top weekly, monthly, or all time. And then, of course, a number of internet applications, 285 of them to choose from. Uh, multimedia, games, and that sort of thing. And so you just pretty much uh, pick out one. Let's take a look at GPaint. It gives you a description of the item and shows you a screenshot. This arrow here will let you navigate back. Now, sometimes you're going to see comments that are in Chinese. Well, let's be understood. This is a Chinese program. But it is nice looking nonetheless. Okay, you have an upgrade button. This lets me know that I have some upgrades that can be done to the system. You can do that all from right here. When you press the uninstall link, this gives you the option to look through all of the uh, programs you have on installed on the system and easily remove them. Then, of course, anything that is installing is in your install queue right here. Very simple, very easy. So we could um, pick out something real quick to install. Hmm, what would I like to install? Let's pick out a game. 
Now, I will admit, a lot of the games that are in the repositories are kind of dumb. But you know what? There are some gems located in here. You just gotta dig through and find them. Okay, so we have Pac-Man. Let's play Pac-Man. Okay, and it even gives you a screenshot and some information. Let's go ahead and click on this. Pac-Man jumped into the installation bin right here, and the file's going to download for us. It tells you when the installation is complete. You go into your menu, go into games, and zip, bada, boom, there it is. And now we can waka, waka, waka away and relive the good old days of 1980s coin-op gaming that used to gobble our quarters just like Pac-Man. Ugh. This game probably ain't that good. <laughs> oh well. And there you have it. A nice graphical software center that you can use in Linux Lite, or something that you can use as a replacement in your Ubuntu-based distribution for the software center that you already have. Mm -hmm.